of the bay, heralded by an angel, born in a lonely manger. Virgin Mary was his mother, and Joseph was his earthly father. You know the wise men, they came from afar. They were guided by a shining star to see a babe, oh, where he lay. Yes, in a manger filled with hay, and his name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. I'm talking about Jesus, I'm Mary's baby. Jesus, so holy, so holy, meek and mild. Oh, to life, to hope, to, hope, to all. To all. They are singing glory, glory, glory to the newborn king. There was a babe, heralded by an angel, born a lonely manger. Virgin Mary was his mother, and Joseph was his earthly father. You know the wise men, they came from afar. They were guided by a shining star. To see a babe, oh, where he lay, yes, in a manger filled with hay. They called him Jesus, 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 Mary's baby, Jesus, Lord of Lord, Jesus, King of King, Jesus, none like Jesus, 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 my Redeemer, Jesus, 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 pick me up, Jesus, turn me around, Jesus, place my feet, Jesus, on solid ground, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, in the morning, Jesus, noonday, Jesus, none like Jesus, 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 dare you to call him. Jesus when I'm sick, Jesus, the name of Jesus, Jesus, heals me, Jesus, power in the name, Jesus, power in the name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. none like Jesus, oh, 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 what a wonderful child, I'm talking about Jesus, here is baby, Jesus, so Holy, so holy, meek and mild. He gives us to life, to hope, to all he brings. Why don't you listen and listen to the They're singing glory, glory, glory to the newborn King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Every year we have to remind everybody yes, Lord. that Jesus is the reason for the season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So many people are focused on Santa Claus for Christmas and the bunny rabbit for Easter, but it ain't got nothing to do with neither one of them. Amen. Amen. But as Christians, we need not, I, I, I don't think we should tell children about Santa Claus. We need to tell them about Jesus. Oh. Amen. Amen. We're going to go over to Luke, the first chapter. And we're going to begin at the fifth verse. Please be reminded that Luke is considered one of the greater historians, point blank. Not Jewish historians. Matter of fact, Luke wasn't Jewish, but he was considered one of the greater historians, point blank. <coughs> Beginning at Luke 1, the fifth verse, you'll find these words. There, were, there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Iba, uh, Iba. And his wife was of the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child, 
because that uh, Elizabeth was barren and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of the course according to the customs of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for the prayer, thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall re rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall, be, shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am old, I'm an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God, and I am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. Amen. Let us go into prayer with Reverend Tom. Let us pray. Merciful and all-wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we come just as humble as we know how in before your throne. We know you are King of kings and Lord of lords. Yes, sir. We know you are omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. Yes. Everything that moves, crawls, breathes, and has its own kind of life is dependent upon you. Lord, we just thank you, thank you Lord. for allowing us to be a part of this glorious body of Christ. Lord Jesus, we just want to say thank you. We can't say it enough. We don't have the superlatives to tell you everything in our heart. Mm -hmm. But we are humble before you because you have shown us a, a light in a dark land. And we have grasped the light, and uh, we are holding on to it. And we know that if we walk by faith and not by sight, we will be with you in the end. You said you were Alpha and Omega. You started and you'll finish it. Lord, we love you. And I was reading. You say, and, and you told the, the servant, you are no longer my servant, you are my friend. What a glorious read that was. You know that I wasn't a servant anymore, that I was God's friend. That I, could, I had access to all the knowledge that Jesus was told by his father. Now, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Help me to walk worthy before you. Help me to abide in the fruits of the Spirit where I can be a servant, be a, a friend to you versus a servant. I love you. Bless this church. Bless all churches that are open in the name of Jesus. And synagogues and whatever, if they're worshiping you, Lord God, we must be doing your business. We pray in Jesus' name and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. If I had 10,000 tongues, can you imagine what that would sound like in this building? If we had 10,000 tongues and we did 10,000 thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, 10,000 yes. hallelujah. Yes. 10,000 glory to your name. 10,000, oh, we love you, God. Yes, oh, 10,000, yes, we adore yes. you, God. Hallelujah. Can you imagine Hallelujah. what Hallelujah. that will sound like? Hallelujah. Like? Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lord, I worship you. 
because of who you are. Yeah, 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 yes. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Come on, lift it all over the building. Because of who you are. Because of who Do you mean you it? Are, Do you mean I it? You, glory. you don't have to give me that thing for Christmas. I'm gonna still worship you. Because of who you are, I give you praise. You, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Because of who you are. I Come on, tell him. Tell him. I give you glory. I give you the glory, Lord. Yes. Because of who yes. you are, Jesus. I give you praise. You, 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 you are worthy of our praise. Come on and worship him. You are. I Say that one more time, say it once again. Lord, I worship you. 
I'll worship you. You are, you are Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, you're my provider. Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh. Oh, my Lord. My provider. Is anybody in need today? Jehovah Nisi. You're Jehovah Nisi. My Jehovah Child, you are my Prince of Peace, and I worship you because of who you are. Not for what you are, but who you are. I worship you, I worship you. because of who you are. Who you are. Who you are. Hallelujah. Amen. Is there anybody in here? Keep playing a little bit, Danny. Uh, that's got a reason to praise God. It, 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 just, just, just one or two of y'all that they got a reason to praise Him. I, I, I hear that person, but what about you? Amen. Amen. I, I see some folks sitting awfully comfortable. Are you telling me that God didn't wake you up this morning? What I said was, is there anybody in here got a reason to praise God? I shouldn't have to ask you to praise him. Because if God woke you up, you got a reason to praise him. Amen. Amen. If, if God lifted you above your circumstances, that's a reason to praise him. If if you woke up this morning and looked at your at, at, at your bed, buddy, amen, and, and, and she was still alive, you got a reason to praise God. If you if you woke up and could put your own clothes on, come here, somebody, amen, amen, you got a reason to praise God. So let me just say that one more time. Is there anybody here? Got a reason to praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, let me just do it the whole way. Amen. Why don't we just give God a praise then? I worship you. Never would have made it without the Lord. Amen. Amen. If the Lord let me, I'm going to be talking about Clifton, are you here? I don't see you. Clifton, come on, son. A amen. Amen. My message this morning will be, I never would have made it. Amen. I is there anybody like me? Amen. And my, my grandson is going to help me. Amen. Y'all, let's give Clifton some love as he comes. Donnie, Donnie, he's going to sing, I never would have made it. Amen. Amen. Clifton and I, Clifton and I was at a funeral yesterday, and Amen. I, 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 one, one of my wife and our niece had passed away, and and Clifton did a rendition of that song. That that song. It was Amen. And and, and I, I noticed uh, uh, James and, and and Brian. I noticed how God has changed this kid. Amen. A amen. He he ain't the same Clifton that I used to know amen amen so so i asked him to come this morning and i told him i said if you got something to say go and say it and then i want you to sing this particular song for me just before i bring that word amen so cliff and it's on you buddy amen 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 well this morning i got a scripture that came to my phone from isaiah 9 and 2 it says the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon have the light shine. Yeah. And that, 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 that scripture touched me personally because I, I felt like I've been in a dark place for a while. Mm -hmm. And the song that I sung yesterday, I, I sung it for my grandmother on her celebration. Yeah. And it means something special to me, so I'm going I'm to try it again. <coughs> I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. I would have 
would have lost it all. But now I see how you are there for me, and I can say I never could have made it. Me either, son. I never would have made it without you. Yes. I would have lost it all. Would have lost it all. But now I see how you are there for me. And I can say I'm stronger. I'm stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. When I look back over all you brought me through. I can see the truth, well, the one I held on to, and I never, I never would have made it. I never, never would have made it. Same day. I, I would have lost it all. Oh, but now I see. Now I see. How you were there for me. And I never would have made it. Oh, I never, never would have made it. Is there anybody at that altar tonight? Yes, Grab sir. your neighbor by the hand and say, I made it. I made it. Say, I made it. I made it. Through my storm and my test, y'all. I made it. Because he was there for me. I'm not crying because I'm nervous, y'all. I'm crying because I'm happy. Because he's doing something to me and I don't know what he's doing. But I know he's moving me in the right direction. I'm not worried about what people think about me no more. I don't care about what people think about me no more. I used to live for what people, how people judge me. I used to want to know what people oh, think about me. Oh, oh, but I don't care oh, because I know I never would have made it. I oh, never would have made it, y'all. Not without, not without God. I promise you, I never would have made it. I don't care what you're going through. You might have lost somebody. Somebody may be sick and afflicted. Whatever you're going through, you may have lost a friend. But you never would have made it without God. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through, it's your past, it's in the past. No matter what you're going through, God never would have made it. I never would have made it without God. I stand here today on my own ten toes, and I know God is moving in me. He can move in you. Grandma, you've seen me from the little up to now. I can make it, anybody, no matter what you're going through. My grandfather tell you, I used to be a crybaby, but now I'm here today. I can tell you, I'm walking on my own. I'm walking on my own. I'm in my own right mind, I can tell you today. I never would have made it. Never I never would have made it without you. I never. Would have made it. I never would have made it, amen. Without a God on my side, amen. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. I never. Amen. Amen. And, and don't worry about the tears, son. Men do cry. Amen. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. I want to talk about I never would have made it. It's so. And, and as I preach it, you preach it. 
Amen. As I, as, as I uh, expound on what God has given me, you expound on what God has given you. Amen. 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 Why did Jesus go through what he went through for us? Can I just share with you that he didn't have to do it? Nobody forced him to do it. But whenever I consider how much he gave up for my life, Brother Franklin, I was listening to you this morning. Thank God for you. And, and what a wonderful Sunday school lesson you taught this morning. I heard every bit of it. Amen. Amen. But I want to share with you that your concerns is God's concern. And what I want to hopefully in the next few minutes get into your psyche and allow you to truly understand that all that God did was with you in mind. This world was in chaos. It was a world without hope. It was a world without love or understanding. And, and don't it seem so sad because we are trending in that direction now. This world had gotten to the point that it had lost trust in their leaders. And they was constantly losing trust in God. I, I just want to talk to you for a minute and, and, uh, and, 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 and tell you that, that God knows how far to let you go before he acts. When God saw within his own Self, that the world was spinning out of control. He acted. Some say that God thought. God don't have to think. He just acts. What's he got to think about? It? I mean, he just do it. Because who can object to what God does? And man had gotten himself to the point that they wouldn't listen to God. If God said left, they said right. If God said right, they said left. And they found themselves twixt in between two opinions. Whether they would serve the world that offered them, they thought so much. Now these were people that that I'm talking about, amen, that, that was supposed to have God's interests in mind. Uh, th these were people that was called God's chosen. But when the chosen start acting like the unchosen, I want to get ahead of myself, but Tom's, but but we are living in a time now that the chosen is beginning to act like the unchosen. If you think that my God going to allow you to do anything, say anything, without any consequences. Baby, you wrong. There is a limit to how much God will take. And is there two people in here understand that God sets the limit? And you don't. I don't. People don't expect God to change. 
People tell us that God changed with the time. No, he don't. He say, I, I, I'm the same today as I was yesterday. God has never changed. And today, as I said earlier, as I get into the crux of the matter today, amen, that the world had gotten to the point that they was on the brink of being turned away. We can remember once before God had enough of this world. And God was set ready to destroy this world. Honey, don't, 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 don't think that God loves us so much that he won't punish us. And had not God found, got the attention of one person, this world would have been non-existent. But one man can make a difference. One man found favor in God. Is that, is that one person in here today can say, I'm worth saving. Is that one person here today, like Noah, can say, I'm worth saving. My family is worth saving. My children, my grandchildren is worth saving. So then I'm going to stand for what God believes. I don't, I don't care. You don't have to like me. You don't have to love me. Yeah, you do. Unless you want to go to hell, you got to do all of the above. I got to love you because I want to get to where God is. So he listened to that man. And because of one man's faith, the world was spared. We say that we are the children of Moses. No, we're the children of Noah. Had it not been for him, had it not been for a God that he trusted, unmistakable. You need to know whether you trust him or not. It ought not to be no doubt about it if you trust him or not. And if you trust you, when you get something to say, it ought to move you like it did Clifton a while ago. It ought to cause you to forget about the past. Forget about what's going on. Forget about who don't like you. Forget about how they've been treating you. Forget about that you don't have what they have. Forget about all of these things and remember that no matter what they say about me, I got a God that I can call on and baby, I don't need you no how any way, however you put it. I hear folks saying, I, I, I can't make it without this. I can't make it without that. I can't make it without mama. I can't make it without daddy. I can't make it without Jim or Slim or the rest of them. But where well, Jim, Slim, mama, or daddy, hey, man, I can make it without mama. I done been doing it for quite a few years. I can make it without daddy. I've been doing it with him since I was 16. I can make it without friends because when I turn to God, many of my friends turn away from me. I can make it without the church because I didn't have the church all my life, but I cannot make it without God. So God brought change. God looked at his world. 
and he saw that love didn't abide anymore. He had gave them commandments to go by. Go by these rules and all will be well. But God found out something that that his rules was not being followed because, because of that nature of sin uh, that man had occurred in him after that grandparent had sinned called Adam uh, and Eve, there was a nature in them that would not allow them to handle those commandments that God did because if they didn't do one wrong, they'd do another. Wasn't nothing wrong with the Ten Commandments. Wasn't nothing if you, all you had to do was follow them, but the problem was, was fellowship. Because a man, he gave ten commandments and he put some restrictions on them. Uh, he said if you get one of them wrong, you're guilty of all the other nine. So then God knew that since all mankind was sinners, that every creation that he had made and called it homo sapiens, man was sinners. We walked in sin. He looked at us and he loved us. How could he love a creature like me? Even now, amen. As your pastor, at times I can't understand how God can love me. It's because Dr. Tom said that, that, that sometime that nature will rise up in the saved. Don't let me shock you. I know folks have been teaching you, the, the man, that you can live a perfect life. Honey, that's just a perfect lie. As long as you are in this body, you're going to have something that will draw you in the wrong direction. But when, it knock, when the world knock you down, while you're down there, ask God to help you get up. Every day of my life, I have to ask him to help me get up out of this one. I know I can get at least one witness that won't he help you up. Am I the only one ever fallen? A man, a man that commercial on TV say, I have fallen and I can't get up. A man, a man, I fell out in my car lot last week. I was delivering some feed out there and when either they hear my voice, my singing or my talking, uh, uh, they hear my ATV coming, they run toward me because they expect something. A man, when I throw off the feed, a man, the thing tilted over, I had to set it back up, and I didn't realize how strong I still were, and when I yanked it up, I fell backwards. Uh, how would you like to feel backwards and, and 28 storming cows is running in your direction? They, they're not thinking about a man that I'm going to hit him up. They're thinking about that food that I brought them. And if I hadn't got up, a man, they would have trampled me. But I said, Lord, help me get on my feet. If I get on my feet, it's going to be all right. What I'm trying to tell you, this world is stampeding toward you. And you have already stumbled. And you need to ask the Lord to just help me get on my feet. If you help me get on my feet, amen, I'll do the rest. I went to the house and I finally told my wife what had happened. She said, well, honey, I'm going to have to start going to the car lot with you. 
Amen. I said, that's all right. But she didn't know Jesus was already at the car lot. Never has it been a time that I hadn't called him and he didn't answer. Amen. I'm not going to tell you that I liked his answer every time, but he answered. Amen. So God knew how to fix the problem. Daddy used to tell us, if you want something done right, do it yourself. Jesus, God, God decided that the only way to, to bring this world back to him, he couldn't depend on the prophets. He couldn't depend on the saints. He couldn't depend on the patriarchs. He couldn't depend on you. He couldn't depend on me. Amen. He had to do it himself. You do know, God, don't you, that God has already separated himself into three parts. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Amen. As God the Father, he talked to them in the old dispensation. Amen. At no time, amen, did you see him call Jesus. Amen. He handled it himself. He, he, did, he did everything to give man a chance to rule this world himself. Amen. He called prophets. He called patriarchs. He called kings. And he used queens. He used people that he could trust. But, but along the line, they all had failures. Amen. Amen. I said on the other day, or I should have said, amen, a sinner can't save another sinner. Amen. Did, did, did that just touch you, baby? I mean, I'm sorry I stepped on your feet, but let me bandage it up. Amen. 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 A sinner. You got to realize first that I am a sinner. Amen. If you're brave enough, say what I say. I am a sinner. But I can be saved by the grace of God. Amen. That's my only salvation. Amen. Amen. I, I, I said, I said somewhere, the man, that in order for man to be saved, he's got to have a savior. Uh, amen. Because man, this world had owned, amen, a debt. Amen. He was hold, the world was holding a promissory note against man. Amen. And nobody had enough of the power to pay off that note. Look to your neighbor and say, there's a promissory note on my life. Amen. Amen. Satan owns me. Satan want me. And, and Satan is now pulling the statue. Satan is now trying to let us know that he is going to pull the note. Amen. But tell him to just have his fun and go ahead on because you got somebody that's going to handle your situation. So in, in order for God to save mankind, he knew he had to do something different. Amen. So the Bible teaches us, amen, that, amen, that, amen, that he did, amen, look, he did give everything a chance to save man, but he couldn't find anybody that was capable, past, present, or future, that could save mankind. Amen. Amen. The Bible said he looked on the earth, there was nobody left here. Amen. He looked in heaven, there was nobody up there. There was nobody that could save mankind. But he did know, amen, that there were three of them, and one of them spoke up. Amen. And that was the Son of God. He only had one son, but that son spoke up, said, If you give me a body, I can handle this. Amen. What I'll do, I'll go down there. Amen. And I will draw man back to you. The reason that you are in here today is because Jesus came down here himself. Somebody ain't saying nothing yet. You miss your shouting point. The reason you are able to clap your hand and feel good when somebody talk about Jesus is because Jesus came down here himself and instilled it in your heart that you're going to need me after a while. You better hold on to me. You better grasp on every word uh, that I say and you better understand uh, that if you want to get to where God is, you got to come by me. Give God one of those if you're going to get to where God is. You got to come by Jesus. Uh, I don't know who's been messing you up. I don't know who's been talking to you. Amen. Letting you know what your crazy self following all these folks, amen, if you want to know a real 
person that's trying to bring you to God latch on to somebody that don't want nothing from you. All they want to do is save your soul. Don't tell me that you got the power to save me, but I got to send you $500. No, you don't want to save me. You want to save yourself. Amen. But uh, my Bible tell me that, uh, amen, uh, freely God gives it to you. And freely you are to receive it. Amen. So, Jesus, where are you, Jesus? I see you as a little baby now. I see God uh, improvising a device to bring you back to him. And a man, have you ever noticed uh, when God get ready to do something big, a little baby is born. Can I get me a witness? Uh, when God got tired of Pharaoh, uh, y'all don't understand that uh, a little baby was born uh, by the name of Moses. And uh, 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 you remember how the Lord saved Moses. Uh, well, uh, I think I need to tell you, uh, there is a lot of Moses uh, and Moses is, uh, in the building right now, uh, and God have the means uh, to save you too. Uh, amen. Uh, can I tell you all, uh, I don't know who you are, but uh, God want to use somebody in here right now. Uh, is that all right? Uh, can I tell you, uh, will you allow God to use you uh, in order to bring men back to him? Uh, well, uh, after the challenge uh, of Moses' birth, uh, amen, uh, after, uh, amen, the hierarchy in you uh, understood that God had planted, uh, amen, a savior in their midst. Uh, uh, Amen. Uh, since they didn't know uh, who it was, uh, uh, well, uh, they decided uh, that they would kill all the male children uh, up to two years of age. Uh, is that right? And if they kill all the children, uh, then uh, more than likely uh, they would have got away. <laughs> from the one that God was going to send later. Uh, amen. To redeem uh, Israel uh, out of bondage. Uh, but did anybody tell you uh, how smart God is? Uh, and God all right. Uh, while they were slaughtering uh, all the Jewish babies uh, up to two years old, uh, God had had put in the mind of uh, Moses' mama, uh, amen. Uh, what I want you to do uh, is build a little ark, uh, and I'll show you uh, how to build it. Uh, and uh, I want you uh, to take your little baby boy uh, and put him in the Nile River uh, and let him float away. Uh, don't you know uh, his mother had to be heartached? Uh, his mother had to have a lot of pain. Uh, say, yeah, man, uh, she did like uh, 
the Lord say do uh, you ought to tell somebody uh, God have a plan uh, for your life uh, ain't God alright uh, ain't no telling uh, what God will do uh, in order to bring you out uh, so they put the baby uh, and the baby began to float uh, down the river uh, and uh, just happened uh, I don't think nothing happened uh, by accident uh, but uh, Pharaoh uh, sister was down there uh, taking her daily bath uh, and the uh, baby uh, floated in their midst uh, and God alright uh, God always know uh, where to put his saints uh, and God alright uh, they went and got the baby uh, and brought him uh, to Pharaoh's soon uh, and when he brought the baby uh, and gave him to her uh, she loved the child uh, and so Somebody said, uh, that's one of those uh, little Jewish babies. Uh, but that you love them, uh, and when you fall in love uh, with somebody, uh, you can't just turn it on uh, and turn it off. Uh, let me pause for a minute. Uh, you told me uh, that you love me. Uh, I'm talking to my wife. Uh, it's my my business uh, and her business. Uh, if you love me, uh, you got to love me uh, through my ups uh, and my down. Uh, it ain't your choice uh, when to stop loving me. Uh, and God, all right, uh, it ain't my choice uh, when I'm gonna stop loving you. Uh, and God, all right, uh, because, honey, I remember uh, a song I sung to you uh, many years ago uh, before we got married uh, I told you uh, if loving you uh, was wrong uh, that I don't want to do right uh, and God alright uh, and I come to tell you uh, it's been right y'all uh, for 57 years uh, and God alright uh, because when God, get ready uh, to put it in your heart. Uh, can't nobody uh, tear it apart. Uh, and God's good. Uh, so love uh, brought him uh, to Pharaoh's house. Uh, say yeah. Uh, love uh, made them uh, take care of their enemy in their own house and I'm a fast forward where when he left the house and went out and killed an Egyptian and found himself running away I'm a fast forward to where he found Jethro's daughters out there watering the flock and he took care of them uh, let me fast forward uh, to the place uh, where he joined uh, Jethro's house uh, and married uh, Jethro's daughter uh, can I preach a minute uh, and God all right uh, I'm going to tell you uh, what happened uh, uh, his father-in-law uh, put him in charge uh, of the sheep uh, and God all right uh, ain't it all right uh, to put a shepherd uh, in charge uh, of the sheep uh, and while he was walking uh, he saw a bush uh, that wouldn't burn uh, and he saw it again uh, and again uh, and then he realized uh, that the bush had not uh, been consumed uh, and God all right uh, you cannot put out uh, a fire uh, that the Lord start uh, 
Don't try to stop me when I'm praising. You didn't start the fire, so don't put it out. Ain't God all right? In fact, I feel like it right now because I feel a fire on the inside. Don't sit there and try to put out my fire. Ain't God all right? Uh, Moses uh, turned aside uh, and he saw uh, that great sight uh, and he walked up to the fire. Uh, and God all right? Uh, and God, uh, somebody say God. Uh, God spoke to him. Uh, the Bible said, uh, out of the midst uh, of the burning bush, uh, and God all right, uh, the God said, uh, Moses, uh, Moses, uh, take off your shoes, uh, because the ground uh, you're standing on uh, is holy ground, uh, and God all right, uh, I come to tell you, uh, when you come in uh, the house of God, uh, you ought to take off your shoes, uh, take off your lying shoes, uh, take off your murdering shoes, uh, take off your backbiting shoes, uh, because God uh, wanna talk to you. Uh, don't come uh, no closer. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, I am uh, a child of God. Uh, don't come uh, no closer. Uh, to me, uh, and God all right, uh, because the ground uh, that I'm standing on uh, is holy ground. Uh, don't bring me uh, your gossip. Uh, don't bring me uh, your heartaches uh, against somebody else, uh, because the ground uh, ain't God all right. Uh, the ground uh, that I'm standing on uh, is holy the ground uh, and God all right uh, sometimes I wish uh, that my anchors would cooperate uh, because I feel like doing uh, a holy dance uh, and God all right uh, look at them uh, and the Lord uh, told Moses uh, I need to use you uh, I got something uh, your job uh, when I had you uh, in Egypt. Uh, you were there uh, for a reason, uh, but I want you uh, to go back uh, and finish uh, that job. Uh, tell somebody uh, you can't quit uh, until the job is finished. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, oh, First Baptist, uh, you can't stop uh, in the middle of the stream. Uh, the God uh, I serve is telling me to tell you the whole on deliverance is on the way. Let me fast forward to the Red Sea after many persuasions. Egypt came out and said, I'll let you go. When the God decided to kill the firstborn, Pharaoh said, uh, get everything uh, that you want uh, and get out of Egypt. Uh, and God, all right, uh, I wish somebody would tell your neighbor, uh, I'm on my way uh, out of Egypt. Uh, and God, all right, uh, things are uh, going to get better. Uh, on the other side uh, of the Red Sea, uh, ain't God all right? Uh, look at my God, uh, ain't God all right? Uh, Moses led him uh, down uh, to the Red Sea, uh, and my God uh, guided him uh, all the way. Uh, Pharaoh uh, had great armies, uh, but God. Uh, Put a fire behind them, and the smoke from that fire wouldn't let them gain on his children. 
They got there by the bank of the Red Sea. Ain't my God is all right. And Moses stood there, say yeah, and God all right. Egypt began to complain. Saint Moses, you brought us here, and now you're going to kill us. Ain't God all right? The water is ahead of us, and Pharaoh is behind me. Tell somebody, it do look bad. Give God a hand, praise. Said, do look bad. Our backs is against the wall. The virus is behind us. It's trying to catch up with us. Ain't God all right? But the Lord said, Moses, use what you got. He said, Moses, what's that? in your hand. Uh, Moses said a staff. Uh, he said, Moses, don't you remember uh, that down in Egypt uh, when I told you, uh, put the staff down. Uh, and the staff uh, became a snake. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, you remember uh, how I told you I uh, put the staff out uh, over the sea. Uh, and the whole sea uh, became a sea of blood. Ain't God all right? Uh, so Moses, what's that uh, in your hand? Uh, and the God said, uh, Use what you got. Uh, use what you got. Uh, if you want to be saved uh, from the virus, uh, if you want to be saved uh, from the enemy, uh, if you want to be saved uh, from the world, uh, use what you got. Uh, use what you got. Uh, tell somebody, you yours and I you man you yours and I you man what I'm gonna do I'm a use what I got prayer is my weapon prayer is my weapon prayer and God all right if anybody here know how to pray if you want this thing to leave our lives prayer I said prayer prayer will change things yeah can I get one witness if you know that you prayed if you know that you prayed if you know that you praise step out give him praise if you know prayer brought you to where you are tell somebody prayer changes things won't it change you won't it change you I gotta leave but I know that prayer brought me to where I am and I know that prayer will deliver us from the enemy I know I know the virus is on its way out because I prayed did you pray I prayed did you pray did you ask the Lord to help us did you ask the Lord to guide us did you ask the Lord would I get on my knees give me words to say that will cause this thing to come to an end and as I close I tell you I never thought I would get to where I am I never thought that I'd be a preacher I never thought that I would pastor people like you but I never would have made it 
without God on my side. I never could have made it. But every time the world knocked me down, I had a God that picked me up and said, don't stop yet. And God, all right, every time trouble got me down, I can have to lie to you. There was times when I thought that I wasn't going to make it, but there was a voice in my heart said, fight on, my brother, fight on, fight on. If you're going through something, fight on. Ain't God all right? Is it anybody out there? You're going through something. I don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. But the closer I'll to you, if you're going through something right now, step out in the aisle because I want to give you some important news. I want to give you some news that's going to help you along the way. And that news is, my brother, if you don't give up, you can make it. If you don't give up, you can make it. And my advice to you, no matter how bad it gets, Fight on, help me say it. Fight on, fight on. Tell your neighbor, don't give up. Tell your friend, don't give up. Tell mama and daddy, don't give up. Tell your little children, don't give up. Fight on, fight on. I never would have made it. I never would have made it without the Lord who's on the side. I would have been dead, but I got Jesus. I never would have made it had not Jesus had already won my battle. I got to leave here, y'all, and I want to thank y'all very much for letting me talk to you for a little while, but I never would have made it uh, had not Jesus did uh, what he did. Uh, is that all right? Uh, you might not remember uh, what he did uh, in order to save me uh, from going into the pits of hell. Uh, and God, all right, uh, I told you uh, back in my message, uh, amen, that Satan uh, had called in my bond. Uh, and God, all right, Satan uh, had decided, uh, amen, if nobody go my bond, uh, that he was going to destroy uh, all mankind. Uh, and I'm sorry to tell you, uh, there was nobody able uh, to go man's bond. Uh, and God, all right, uh, y'all can call Reverend Atwood, uh, who's a friend of mine, uh, and got a great bond and come. Uh, but uh, Atwood would have to tell you, uh, amen, that I can't go uh, that bond uh, because the price is uh, too high. Uh, and when I 
when I learn about what the price was, amen, I didn't have nobody to go my barn, and God all right, because in order to go out of barn, Somebody had to give up their life. Can I ask you all now, is it anybody in here that will die for me? You say you love me, but will you die for me? Ain't God all right? Hardly would anybody die to save someone else. But yet Jesus would dare to die to save a man's soul. You ought to give God a praise. Here is what Jesus did. He made a bargain with the devil. He said, I'll give you my life. If you let them free, ain't God all right? Ain't God? Satan said, yeah, I will accept your challenge, but you got to do it like I say do it. What I want to do is humiliate you. Ain't God all right? I'm going to hang you on a cross, and I'm going to hang you uh, like a common thief. Uh, I'm going to put you between uh, two thieves. Uh, say yeah. Uh, and you uh, can't do nothing uh, to say about it. Uh, but the Lord, uh, you remember, don't you, uh, in his word, uh, he told them, uh, you can do anything uh, to me. Uh, but uh, you better do it on the ground because I, if I be lifted up uh, and God all right, uh, I'm going to draw the whole world under me. Uh, Satan didn't lift him. Uh, they nailed him. Uh, you remember uh, to the cross. Uh, Portia, they nailed him. Uh, feet down on the cross uh, and they lifted uh, up Jesus uh, and they dropped him down uh, between two thieves uh, and let me tell you uh, I can't tell it uh, like it really was uh, it was a thousand times uh, greater than I can tell it uh, but when they dropped him uh, heaven began to shake uh, stars began to fall uh, out of heaven uh, the moon began to drip uh, the sun said uh, I cannot shine uh, because the son of man is shining uh, brighter than I am uh, is it anybody here uh, uh, give God a praise uh, and say thank you Lord uh, for letting your son uh, die on the cross. Uh, they hung him, uh, but Jesus uh, was still God. Uh, and God, all right. Uh, and one of them, uh, thieves cried out, uh, saying, Lord, uh, why don't you come down? Uh, and save yourself uh, and then save us too. Uh, Jesus uh, and God all right. Uh, the other thief said, uh, you know we're guilty uh, of doing wrong. Uh, but this man uh, is different y'all. Uh, somebody uh, help me say uh, this man uh, is different. Uh, I never seen a man like this man. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Jesus uh, was listening uh, at every word uh, they had to say. Uh, and then the thief uh, that was on the right, uh, he knew that Jesus had power. He said, Lord, when you get 
in your kingdom. Remember me. Ain't God all right? Is there anybody here? Is you ready to say, remember me? I'm the one that was lying. I'm the one that did wrong. So I know that I'm not going to be with you. But when you get there, remember me. And I got to close it. I got to close it. But the thief didn't realize who he was talking to. Ain't God all right? He didn't realize that he was talking to the Son of God. Gee, let me tell you. What they didn't realize, uh, because uh, if they had went to Sunday school, uh, if they had went to church, uh, they would have known uh, that Jesus uh, was capable uh, of doing anything. Uh, have you decided uh, to bring your children uh, to Sunday school uh, and let Franklin teach them? Uh, bring them to church. Uh, and let me teach them, uh, listen to us on Wednesday night, uh, and your life uh, will take a change. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, but come here, thief on the right. Uh, I need to tell you something. Uh, I need to bring you uh, to a short Bible class. Uh, that man uh, that's in the middle, uh, he's all man, but he's all God. Give God a praise. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, let me go through uh, his genealogy. Uh, on his mama's side, uh, he's all man. Uh, but on his daddy's side, uh, he was all God. Uh, on his mama's side, uh, he cried uh, at Lazarus' tomb. Uh, but on his daddy's side, he said, Lazarus, uh, come forth. Uh, Ain't God all right? Uh, so I tell you, uh, on his mama's side, uh, they nailed him uh, to the cross. Uh, on his mama's side, uh, he cried out, uh, Father, forgive them, uh, because they don't know uh, what they do. Uh, but on his daddy's side, uh, he getting ready uh, to talk to you. Uh, and he said, this day, you will be with me uh, in paradise. Uh, and I stop to tell you, uh, no matter what you did uh, in your life, uh, this day, if you die loving God, uh, this day, if you give God the love, uh, this day, if you give God the praise, uh, this day, if you die right now, you will be with him uh, in paradise. Uh, he died, uh, didn't he die? He died, uh, they took him down uh, and put him in a grave. Uh, somebody said uh, he stayed in the grave uh, for three long days. Uh, you need to go back uh, and read your Bible uh, and you will find out uh, that when he went down uh, in the grave, uh, he didn't stay uh, in the grave too long. Uh, he used the grave uh, as a dressing place. Uh, he took off uh, man's apparel, uh, wrapped them real neat, uh, and put them on the thing. Uh, didn't he do it? Uh, then he went down uh, through the back door uh, in the cave. Uh, and the Bible said uh, he went down in hell. Uh, uh, he went down uh, in the grave uh, and he preached uh, salvation uh, to all the old Testament folks uh, that didn't know Jesus. Ain't God all right? Uh, and while he preached, the graves came open. Uh, dead men uh, walked the streets of Jerusalem. Uh, ain't the Lord is all right? Uh, say yeah. Say yeah. And somebody said, uh, the Bible didn't say it, uh, but it sounded like it right. Uh, 
Because I remember uh, when the Lord uh, was talking to Job. Uh, Job had a question, uh, and God answered it. Uh, he said, if a man die, shall he live again? Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, and I believe uh, he woke up Job uh, and said, Job, I came to answer your question. I am the resurrection. I am. After he finished his work, came back, pushed the stone away. And the word is, he came out with all power. Can somebody say all power? was in his hand. God's got this. But had I not believed in God, I would be lost. Repeat after me. Had I not believed in God, my soul would be lost right now. But I believe I believe there is a promised land where it's going to be wherever Jesus is. Thank you, Jesus. I never, never would have made it without God on my side. Tell your neighbor. Come on, tell, tell, tell somebody that that you can speak to without infecting them. So I never would have made it. And now that I have made it, I want to help you. So can, can you ask your neighbor, say, can I help you? Are you concerned about anyone? Say, can, can, I, can, I, can I help you? Can I help you out of what you're going through? Because in like manner, it might not be the same thing but God has brought all of us out of something. In this world, the door is open. Seems cold. I, I want to say this for the older folks. The, the young folks don't know songs like this. And your friend seem, give God some praise, seem few. Is there another? There is someone, someone who cares. For you, the door is open. He'll, he'll come down. Y'all get some more chairs out there. Get some more chairs out there. From the sky. He'll wipe tears. Is there another? Is there another from your eyes? That's all right. You are his child. And he cares. He cares for you. When you're disappointed, disappointments come. Look for your friend. The door is open. I, I believe that there's on this side, 
There's somebody working on it. Come on, baby. You can't find no one. Still, there is someone. Who are you messing with my soul over here? Someone who cares. Cares for you. You see, he loves you so much. Here's what he do. He'll, he'll come down. Y'all give him a praise. Down from the sky. Oh, he'll wipe the tears from your weeping eyes. Somebody give God another prayer. Say, I'm his child. Say, I'm his child. And he cares. He cares for you. Brother Shula, I see you trying to make a move. One of your deacons, go over there and I said deacons. One of your deacons go over there and help him. When you're disowned, get him a chair. Disappointment come. Look for your friend. And you won't find no one. And I'm through with this. Still, there is someone, someone who be a friend to you. Oh, he will. I know he will. He'll come down. Oh. Down from the sky. My God gonna wipe the tears from my weeping eyes. You, his child, is there another? And he cares. I know he cares for you. God cares. Tell your husband, I say, God cares. God cares. He'll come down. What I love about God, he'll come to where you are. When you can't get to him, don't give up yet. He's on his way to see you. If you are honest with God, People, we got to stop playing church. At the church, you'll miss this and miss that. You'll miss to this. You'll miss to that. And when you walk out the doors, sometimes we can't hardly resemble who you are. You got to stop playing church. This ain't no rehearsal. This is the real thing. The Bible says if we have hope to the gospel plot. And if you turn and look back you are not fit for 
for the kingdom of God. It's got to be real. I don't care what office you hold, you can hold this office. If I'm not real in what I'm doing, then I need to die and go to hell. What I'm saying, what am I saying? If you're singing in the choir and ain't saved, go sing somewhere else. If you're ushering on the usher board and ain't saved, usher somewhere else. If you're on the, if you're deacon on the deacon board, trusting on the trustee, wherever you serve in the church, if you ain't real. You are not fit to do what you're doing. Lies are held in the balance. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Lies. Somebody is watching you. Homemongers and adulterers. Not that I'm so saved, but there are some things I won't do. God is looking for the righteous. I got it, huh? Didn't you see that? Don't I look cool? Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. <sighs> Never would have made it. Ain't nothing now. But I wouldn't be to where I am. Had not God. Good to see you come into my life. Sister Clark, you have a report. Amen. You can sit. You can sit. Morris, you have been away from us a long time. You've gotten your business taken care of, you told me. And now you are ready to come back into the house of God. Okay. And you want to come back by way of rededication. You ready now? Let me, let me tell you some things that you did. Now, now that I'm a child of God, my life is an open book, okay? Anything you want to know about me, I, I, I already told you everything. I, I ain't got nothing else to tell you. I done, I done told you everything about me. Now, now, I'm not bound to hold nothing back from me, but I'm bound by God that if you tell me something, I can't tell nobody. What about me? I, I'm a sinner. But I was saved by the grace of God. Now what I'm telling you is that this time and I'm going to accept you back but this time you're going to be serious. All that old crazy stuff you were wearing that ain't about God. Everybody in here knows you except for a free few. And they don't need to know that Shula. They need to know this Shula. So I'm telling you that, that the moment that I see you straying away, uh, Deacon Knight, where are you? Deacon K, where are you? Y'all come in. He said, well, I never know something about talk to a man like I'm talking to you. Well, maybe your pastor's a coward. I'm not. This is his chance. And those things, and you know what I'm talking about. And, 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 uh, crazy dress wear, all of that crazy stuff, the wigs on your head, all of that crazy stuff. You see, church is not about me and you. It's not about putting ourselves out there to be the one that folks see and laugh at. 
thing about that because when they laugh at you, they laugh at God. Amen. So now I'm going to accept you back by way of your rededication and going to let you know that I'm praying for you. Amen. God didn't kick Peter away. In the 26th chapter, 22nd chapter of St. Luke, he did tell Peter, he said, Peter, Satan desired to have you because of the position that you was in. Satan desired to have you. But Satan had a motive. The Bible says, and then, uh, uh, brother, uh, we got a Bible scholar in here, in uh, Brother Savage, and, and, and he said that, that he may sift you like wheat. That's what Satan was doing to you. He was sifting you. And Satan don't sift to keep the good. He sift out the good to throw it away to keep the bad. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what God told Peter? He said, Peter, but I have prayed for you. And I want you to know, nightly, I have prayed for you. And, and then Jesus says something right in that verse. He says, he says, when you are converted, when you have made a change, now, strengthen your brother. Now, just like you draw people to you, silliness, you can draw them to you now with righteousness. Amen. You can be a Peter, is what I'm saying. But you got to lay down some stuff. And if, you, if you're willing to do that, we're willing to accept you back by way of rededication. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Very hey, beautiful. Amen. 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 That should put your daughter. Okay. Now, right now, when when all of this stuff has come down, we, we're gonna have the record, and uh, and when that time comes, we're going to. It will be my honor. To baptize you. It's your little old pretty set. Amen. I'm going to be honored to baptize you. Amen. God bless you. I don't, I don't ask children questions, but we do teach them along the way. Amen. Amen. Shakira. Amen. Amen. You want to be a part of this church. Okay. How old are you? Fifteen. You look younger than that. <laughs> we, and uh, what church did she come from? Community House of Prayer. Community House of Prayer. Have you been baptized? Yes. Okay, okay. Then we are going to accept you. Amen. And as a member of First Baptist Church. Amen. And we are going to give you the right hand of fellowship now with a promissory note for later. Y'all are keeping all this, right? That whenever we are able to come together in a class, because right now we're not going to do classes, whenever we are able to come together in a class, then you're going to have to sit in that class, amen, and we can teach you more and more and more. But I'm not going to hinder you, amen, from being a part and doing whatever you can do now. All right? How's it? Okay. Hallelujah. Excellent. Okay, well, if, if you, we, I'm, I'm going to have prayer in, in a little bit. I want you to come up and be standing right in, right in front. I thought that was you. You lost some weight now. That looks good on you. Amen. Amen. For somebody that's not a member, he, he has been so faithful. Amen. God bless you. You understand the door of the church is open, and you wish to be a part of this church. Will you obey the rules, the regulation of the church, and obey your pastor? That's me. Is there anything you'd like to say to these people? It's not necessary, but if you want to say something, feel free to say it. Yeah, I just want to say uh, I've been coming for almost about a year, a year or so. And ever since I came in this church, 
with the musicians, the choir, and you preachers, I feel the Holy Spirit every time. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, let me welcome you to First Baptist Church. We're now going to give you a few moves right over here. We're going to give you two the right hand of fellowship. Right, let, no, no, you get between Willie. Yeah, amen. And she, amen. Now, did she come by baptism, right? Okay, you can take her. You can, you can take her. That's your daughter? Yes. Okay, you can take her with you, uh, and she can come back with you. And we're going to fellowship these into the church. Amen. And when you get baptized, we're going to fellowship you. Amen. Come on, officers, mothers. Where are Luke? Just a minute now. If you are not, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If you are not wearing gloves, do not shake hands. Amen. Don't, e don't even bump, okay? Don't even bump. It's just, just bow or whatever. Amen. You good. Love you too, baby. Hey, Mary. Hey, dear. Good job. Pray for me, man. How's that? Somebody, I got away. Devil thought he had me, but I slipped away. Raise your hand and say, Thank you, Lord. But I, I slipped away. That old fire kept on burning. on burning if you don't have a God why don't you try mine anybody in here saved if you don't have a God on your side why don't you Try mine. I was standing at the station yard, ticket in my hand. I was standing 
at the station. I said, Lord, I got my ticket, got it in my my hand. If you're talking, I see a lot of folk out there talking. Uh, if you're talking about Jesus, he's a friend of mine. If you all are talking, <laughs> talking about Jesus, uh, he's a friend of mine. I didn't do no writing, but my name, my name been signed. Ain't God all right, boy? I didn't do no writing. I didn't do no writing, but my name, my name, Job and Sam. Lord, if you're looking for me, Lord, I'm on my way. Give God that praise. Keep on looking for me. I'm on. I'm on my way, yeah. Come on, officers. It's happy time. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Ooh. Anybody got a fast car, I go and I run up to Grills right across the street and get a whole big old long stick of bologna. Get about 25 coffee rolls. Pick up any kind of red drink you can find. And we're going to eat and we're going to have some more church. Woo! Yes. Yes. It's church time. It's church time. Lifting up our offerings. Father, we lift it up to you. Take it, O oh God, and use it for the purpose and the intent. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. Amen. Let me let me give you some information here. We have we have now death in our family again. Uh, Mother Rothschild passed away yesterday afternoon. And uh, if if you don't know Mother Rothschild, then you do know her daughter, Sister uh, Eloise Spencer. That's her mother. And when she was in church, she always sit over there right behind Mother Jordan. I know where Mother Jordan used to, was sitting, but she was a wonderful person. But yes, yeah, she succumbed uh, last night uh, around eight-ish. So let's pray for that, that family. Pray for, for our family, my wife and, and I. We, we funeralized our niece on yesterday in Foley, Alabama. So pray for that family. Um, uh, Sister Eleanor uh, Pollard. She's back in the hospital. Let's pray for her. Uh, Deacon Willie Hollins is now in the hospital. Let's pray for him. Now, now, now I want to put an asterisk there. Willie is just an angel of God when it comes to helping sick folks. And I know hundreds of you are going to want to talk to him. You're going to want to call him. And I'm saying, don't do it. Amen. He's 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 very ill right now. Yes. He's in the hospital, and and he don't need us, and the family don't. And I talked to mother th th this morning, just a little while ago, before I came out, and um, and and she just wants you to know that sh that she love you, and that we will keep you in in form. But but he's not going to get a rest if a, a hundred and ninety nine of us call or come by to see him. Amen. So we're asking for your prayer. Now, prayer is in the hospital right now. And if you ask him to, he'll work for you while he's there. So let us, let us just pray for Brother Willie and everyone else that are, that are ill, Sister Annemarie Lockwood and, and all others. And, uh, and also let us pray for the, the family of, uh, of one of my favorite artists coming up. And that was a, we used to call him Country Charlie Pride. He passed away on yesterday, and 86 years old. So let's uh, let's let's pray for him. Do y'all know the way to Arizona? That was his greatest hit. That was his last two million dollar seller. Hey Amen. Do you know the way to Arizona? Arizona. Yes. And uh, but pray for that family, and 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 and, and pray for this world. We had last night, yesterday a different kind of riot. Did y'all see it? In Washington, we had a different kind of protest. Now, we're used to protesting for um, things, and, and uh, we used to protesting for freedom and all that, but, but they were protesting to keep the president in office that's there. And, 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 and it became violent. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. Many people got arrested. One person got shot. People now, that some things just don't make sense. So let's not be a part of crazy things like that because it could happen right here in Pensacola. It could happen anywhere. If people have differences, we all have differences. Let's don't be a part of their differences that are going to lead to chaos that's going to end up in somebody getting hurt. So what am I saying? I'm saying that if you know where a riot is, stay away from it. That's the best way to do it. That's the best way to honor God. Because God's word is going to stand. Amen. I don't care what we do. If God intends for the, the man that won the election to be elected, he's going to be elected. If God intends for Trump to find a way to get back in, He's going to do it. It's, it's, it's in God's will. And we believe that God's will is to let the, the system go like it's always been. So, so, let, so we don't have to start yelling at folks and calling them names. Amen. And bumping yourself on the chest because a bunch of them are running around talking about this, this city belongs to us. No, it don't. It belong to God. Amen. And so we, we just got to, we just have to, use, all we have to do is use common sense. 
treat people as you would want to be treated, and that don't make no difference if they're white, black, blue, and red. We can get we can get along. You don't have to go home with them folks. Amen. Just just go on about your business and let it let it go, cause somebody gonna get killed. Amen. It's fortunate somebody gonna get killed yesterday. Somebody pull out a gun and start shooting in a crowd. Bullets ain't got no name on it. Amen. Come stand where you are. And I have asked one of my preachers and one of my closest friends because and I, 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 I shared my heart with him before the service and I have asked him to pray. To pray for unity. Pray for health. Pray that God will intervene and, and the storm that's hanging over our lives and not only in America but but this is something that we can pray internationally. God's going to fix the problem. But I shared with you the, the answer is already here. But we just got to hold on. And we got to be careful. I, people, I don't care who don't wear their mask, you wear yours. Everywhere you go. They might call you crazy. One of the crazy things that I got out of yesterday, and I don't know if y'all if y'all saw it or not. They identified that there was one group yelling, <clears throat> you must be a Democrat because you wearing a mask. I say, what? Am I gonna be known by a wearing a mask? That is crazy. And, 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 and you got virus all around you. <clears throat> and you this close to getting an antidote that's going to save your crazy life. And you saying that you ain't wearing it because you don't want to be identified as a Democrat. No, you're going to be identified as a nut. What am I saying? Where have the world gone to? It ain't bravery being stupid. I'm tired of preaching funerals to people that don't want to be saved. Come on here. And let's do it for real. Reverend is going to come and he's going to pray. Oh, come on, Mother Junior. Listen to Mother Junior. She has an announcement that she want to make and and then, and then uh, Pastor Savage is going to come and pray. Good morning. I'm here once again with the permission of my pastor to tell you all, you know this week is coming to an end, and she and Brother Miller's anniversary comes off in February. And what we're doing is reopening up the classroom. Re reopening up the classroom. Let me see. Um, to put this in the end for anyone that would like to get a plaque that didn't get one before or would like to get one for someone that's passed on in a memorial. Or not, all, not only that, uh, also the organization, the ministries in the church, we would like for you all, especially as we come up in the choir and the music ministry, uh, to please buy a plaque. We're getting work done to our church and it would greatly, you see how the last one came in. So it would be really be greatly appreciated. This is to go toward our pastor and Reverend Miller's anniversary in February. So they are $50. So you can take on, as I said before, it's like our producer, if you're so close, we're like two months out from, yeah, two months and a week out from their anniversary. You can start paying on it today. Mother Jane will still be here to take, take your name. And you can pay on it every week. You can let them have $7 every week until the second Sunday in February. We will appreciate it. You contributing your love as well as your finances to Pastor and Mother Miller's anniversary. Thank you. Oh, that I forgot. Amen. You, you know, normally we would be going into our scholarship banquet tonight. Amen. But uh, but that that's not that's not going to happen. We know, but um, uh, we still have graduates, we, we pray, however they graduate, if they graduate, 
want to honor them in some way. And so uh, this year we're going to turn over to the graduate group, amen. Um, that's the, from our giving, right, on, 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 um, through our giving all year long, even though we have the pandemic, we're able to turn over to the scholarship fund, Mother Bear, $3,000. Amen. Amen. I, I thought y'all would be more excited than that. Amen. In a pandemic? Come on, y'all. Amen. Nevertheless, we, we paid our $10 a week, and you paid your whatever you paid, and, and we are able to give that, and I think that's a blessing. Praise God. Is there anything else that I need? Come on, Pastor. Glory to God. Stand with me just a minute. You might want to sit down. I'm going to be brief, though. Um, but this is important. And see, prayer is important. You can have an expensive automobile, but without some air in your tires, you defeat the purpose of which that car was built. I think prayer plays that, plays that same role in our relationship in Christian walk with the Lord and experience. If you don't take time to pray, God wants to bless, bless us more than we want to be blessed. In Luke chapter 12 and verse 32, he says, Fear not, little flock. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. We don't think much about having good water, pure water to drink and bread, but in Exodus, the 23rd chapter, verse 24, encouraged the people not to watch of idle gods, but to serve God. Verse 25 says, And you shall serve the Lord, your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness from among or in, from the midst of you. And there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. And the number of your days will I fulfill. In Psalms 105 and verse 37. He brought them also, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. He brought them with silver, forth also with silver and, there, and gold, and there was not one, not one feeble person in all their tribes, among all their tribes, millions of people, and not one was feeble. One other final verse. In the Psalm 107 in verse 20, he sent his word and healed them. Not only did he heal them, but he delivered them from all their destructions. He healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. The Bible declares that the grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of God abides forever. You need to get in the word and claim God's promises. It's taking God at his word. Just let the weight of your confidence down on the promises of God's word. God wants to show himself strong and mighty the same way he opened that Red Sea. Whatever it is that you need, if you can trust God for it, find something in this world you can let your anchor down. And if you can believe, God delights in demonstrating his love and his power. Let us pray. Our Father God, we thank and we praise you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you for your servant that has stood on the wall and declared the truth between the living and the dead. Thank you, Father, for what you've done in this place today. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Lord God, you do what we cannot do in the power of human strength and might. 
My Lord God, you touch every heart, create that hunger and thirst in the hearts of your people. That they will go into your word. That they'll be moved and stirred like the woman at the well that Jesus met the Samaritan woman at the well who went and said, come see a man that told me all things, whatever I've done. Thank you, Father. Create that hunger and thirst that everyone can come without price, without money, without silver, without gold. Just simply take it for the asking. Thank you, Father God, for the comfort of the Holy Spirit, for those, oh God, who are going through the valley where the shadows have fallen. That they will feel that confidence in which the psalmist spoke and said, Yea, though I walk through the veil of the shut up death, I'll fear no evil. For thou with me, thank you for your divine presence, Father. Thank you for the promise of your word that wherever two or three are gathered together, you're in your midst. Thank you, Lord. We claim it today. We claim your divine presence. Father, thank you for doing a work that only you can do, a work that will glorify your name. Bring about unity as only you can. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Healing, oh God, that only you can do. Healing in every form, every phase, every facet. Mental, emotionally, physically, spiritually. We need healing, oh God. Healing that comes from Humility from humbleness when men will humble themselves, when they will empty themselves. Father, as you brought healing to Israel and delivered them from destruction, thank you for what you're doing even now in the land. The vaccine that you have moved upon men in a marvelous way, oh God. To make it available that you will continue, God, to move in every way for the distribution. Lord God, that the side effects will be now. Thank you, God, for what you've already done. Miraculously, Lord God, move out of your mercy out of your compassion for your name's sake. God, help us to claim your name as we humble ourselves, as we're obedient, that we will honor you, will exalt your name, that the world will know because there's unity, because there's love, that we have a relationship with you, and they'll know that we are Christians by our love, by our love, by our love. Lord God, that they will say, oh, how good and how pleasant it is when God's people dwell together in unity. And Lord, we agree with that admonition from the Apostle Paul. Be anxious. For nothing, but in everything, by prayer, supplication, petition, let your request be made known. This is our request, oh God. This is our prayer. It's on the authority of the word of God. It's on the authority of your promises. It's on the authority of the name of Jesus, the power of attorney. You've given us to act in that name that's above every name. In heaven, earth, and beneath the earth, thank you for the power and authority of that name we act on it. 
Teach us, oh God, how to use that authority as we use the money in our pockets, as we use the keys to our home, as we use the keys to our automobile, just acting on your word out of faith. And we'll give you the praise, Father. We give you the glory. Have your way, oh God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father, mercy and grace, have your way, oh Lord our God. For your way, your way. In Jesus' name.